What's up guys, Mainly Hockey Cards here, and today we hit 500 subscribers, absolutely electric. Thank you all so much for your support, and I can't wait to see what happens next. I am working on the giveaway video for the Ryan Nugent Hopkins PSA 10. I'm still deciding on how the draw will be, but expect that video with the winner announced in the next few days. Before that, let's get into today's video. I often talk about investing in cards themselves, but today I want to talk about investing in sealed products. And the five products available right now, I believe to be the best investments for the future. For these investments, it's definitely more of a buy and hold sort of strategy involved because you're unlikely to see significant changes in price in the short term. You're also going to have to refrain from opening the boxes, which is not the easiest thing to do for many of us, myself included. However, if you can keep these boxes sealed, I think you'll see some nice returns down the road. This past year has been extremely significant for the hobby, and it all started with 2020-21 Upper Deck Series 1, which is currently running about 130. I think this is a pretty good deal because while you are chasing Lafreniere, you're also chasing a ton of potential in other names. The Robertsons, Byram, Norris, McMichael, Ottinger, Krebs, Kratsov, etc. An even better deal, though, is 2020-21 Upper Deck Series 2, currently running about $110. You have two high-end names in Stutzla and Kaprizov, but you also have Hoglander, Romanov, Cousins, Sorokin, Smith, Miller, Lankinen, and so on. I think you could easily make the case that Series 2 features a more valuable crop than Series 1. Continuing on with the trend of the Upper Deck Series, though, the 2021-22 Upper Deck Series 1 set, I believe, is an absolute steal at the pre-order price of just $100. Yes, Cole Caulfield will headline the rookies, but there are so many other big names beyond him that could make this an incredible product. And 2021-22 Upper Deck Series 2 for that matter. Byfield will headline that set, and like Series 1, it will again pre-order at just $100. I think that this class of rookies is being treated like the 2014-15 set, which was like a stepbrother to the 2013-14 double rookie class. The 2014-15 series featured a bunch of incredible prospects, but the names just weren't amazing at the time, so the product wasn't all too valuable for short-term investors. But seven years later, I think we've learned from our mistakes. I think you could see massive profits on both Series 1 and Series 2, with a great rookie class split down the middle between them. The next product is super controversial, and I personally am a big fan of it. It's 2020 Skybox Metal Universe Hockey, and it's a historic product on many levels. The first exclusive Metal Universe Hockey product amidst a historic year with a historic rookie class, it sets itself up to be a box that down the road, I think people are really going to have a rough time finding, especially at a lower price. It's a bit on the mid to higher end for a hockey product, but I do think the potential to pull something massive is certainly there. And really, that will drive the value of the product for years to come, as it's a product that appeals to more than just hockey fans, too. PMGs drive value across the industry, and this is no different. So, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always change your mind later. Thanks again for 500, everyone. Cheers.